Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Marlene here. So, um, today I wanted to do a Q&A. So yeah, this is different from the videos that I usually do. And um, I, some of you guys been asking me to do a Q&A. And you guys want to get to know me more. Ustedes me quieren conocer más. Y siempre me preguntan preguntas. I just said it right, right. Me preguntan muchas preguntas. Eh, you, I want to try to make this video, you know, Spanglish, you know, English and Spanish because a lot of my viewers are um, Spanish as I, you know, see you guys. You guys always tell me to make videos in Spanish and stuff. And I'm sorry, guys. I usually make videos in English. I don't know. It's just like, I guess it's easier for me as for now, but um, it's definitely easy for me to. You know, I just don't like talk. I like to talk proper. I don't want to like <coughs> be, you know, messing up my words all the time when I do um, talk Spanish because there's some words or terms that I'm, you know, I don't know how to say correctly. Anyways, I'm filming this video with my phone right now. So um, I don't have a camera with me right now. So I am filming with my phone. And I wrote these questions in this paper, so just because I got so many questions on my, on my Instagram, <clears throat> because I originally, I posted up a post saying, I proceeded to putting up another post, putting the, the ask question box, and I, I just took like about, literally, I said that I was gonna do 31 questions because December and this month is 31 days. But um, I decided to stick with 35 questions because those are the good questions and a lot of, you know, inappropriate questions that I'm not going to answer. But I was thinking definitely see how this video does, how well it does and see if we can like these videos. And I could probably do a part two and do more, more of this. So, um, <coughs> so I first want to start with, well... I just just wrote them like this okay so first question let's cut cut to the chase first question I'm a little bit nervous guys about doing this Q&A you know as I only stick to like cooking videos and fashion videos and whatnot um, I don't usually do these so I want to start doing more videos for you guys to get to know me <coughs> so yeah this video I'm not gonna be modeling for those of you that love to see me modeling the clothes. First question, do you talk to your friends? Do you talk to your friends, like talk to them in your DMs? Somebody asked me this. Well, I'm not gonna disclose um, people's names on IG. I just wrote the questions. It was so many questions. So I didn't keep up with the names, you know, it was too much. So anyway, so the question is, do you talk to your friends? Like, do you talk to them in your DMs? And the answer is yes, I do talk to my friends. I um, don't answer every question. In a daily basis, I don't know how many DMs I get. I honestly think it's like um, a little bit hectic and a little bit stressful to, to keep up with everything on social media and check DMs and all of that because... Oh, it's just like there's so much negativity online, you know, nowadays. And sometimes I just, you know, need to. Of course, I, you guys see me posting daily. Almost, it is my, you know, like I, it is my job. Like I, I work off of social media, so I have to post every day. It's not like I have another choice unless I was doing something else. Anyways, um, I love doing YouTube and this is why I also have, I have to have Instagram in order to connect with my friends, as be able to work with different brands, to reach out other people and everything. So yeah, the answer is yes, I do talk to my friends, um, my DMs. Um, if it's an important question, I do answer a lot of questions that have to do with health and fitness related, I try to help my friends out. The people out that reach out to me and ask me for advice and eating and what like eating advice and all of that and whatnot. So yeah. Um the second question, oh my god, and I got gotten this question uh, quite a lot. 
I got this question a whole ton. And that question is, what happened to Alejandra? Where's Alejandra? Y'all guys don't see Alejandra. Um, you guys don't see pictures of us anymore together. You guys don't see videos of us. You guys don't see us. Um, basically, we're like, you know, um, everywhere together, you guys, you know. That's how we actually started started our OnlyFans um, together and also I know you guys love us um, when we collaborate together but honestly right now she um, decided to focus on other things we actually remove everything from from social media including YouTube so if you guys uh, follow a page on either who knows Facebook I don't have Facebook by the way if you guys follow Instagram or something, because there are fake pages, you know, I've seen them before. Um, that's not her. But we do talk. We're, we're, um, we're still really good friends. And yeah, I love her. I love that girl. Um, the third question. What is your big dream? Okay, so my big dream is to fight, like be successful of a uh, YouTube. It, I love making videos i love doing videos wish you guys could give me more ideas you know i want you guys to give me more ideas because um i know i have you know a lot of guys supporting my channel but i would also love for more females to support my channel because i do feel like i do give tips and um on health and fitness and i'm gonna start creating more um workout videos and whatnot but um, I'm not trying to do YouTube to like show off my, my body or nothing like that. I actually love YouTube and I've been wanting, I've been, I wanted to do YouTube for years. I have actually more than two or three years, I think, doing YouTube. I do have another page. I actually stopped um, using that page because of certain reasons um that i don't want to talk about right now but yeah i still have that page i am not gonna delete anything because it's still i it's still my page but i'm not gonna delete anything or or post anything on that page maybe if i do i will let you guys know but um yeah this is my new page and i will be posting all my content and everything on this page so yeah Oh my god, we got so out of track. Um, I forgot what um, we were talking about. But I think the question was like, what is your big dream? I don't know how I was talking about that. But yeah. Oh yeah, I was saying that um, my one of my big dreams is to, you know, become um, very successful for YouTube. I actually also want to move my family to a huge mansion. And I want all of us together in a huge mansion you know i want them to be as comfortable as they can and i want to give them everything that i can to because my mom has went on and beyond for me in this world and if it wasn't for her i wouldn't have accomplished a lot of things that I accomplished to this day including um finishing high school you know i was very a very very good student you know in general i was a very good student but you know i eventually got in with the wrong crowd one thing led to another but that's a different story time if you guys want to hear more about that let me know in the comments but anyways yeah my big dreams is to um yeah <coughs> become pursue this youtube thing and move my family out to a um to a mansion and i also want to have my own business apart from that i also want to have like you know a business you know apart from my youtube channel i love doing youtube i i wish it was the only thing that i had to do but um of course you know gotta do more more like um i actually want to drop my own merch line as well um you guys let me know if you're interested in that so i can i'm actually thinking about working on that because i got a lot of good feedbacks on my on my instagram i can keep up with all these 
I can't keep up with all these um, social media accounts, but yeah. The fourth question is, what do you do for a living? Okay, so what I do for a living? So you're looking at it here. Um, I was working in a private college before I quit and started doing YouTube um, more like full time. I was actually, it's a long story because I quit my job because um, I found out that, well, I quit my job because, um, yeah, it was a lot. That's another story time. I'm not going to talk about it right now. But one thing led to another. I will was very sick i ended up in the hospital i found out that i have polycystic kidney disease um which was insane um for me the doctor told me that i might need dialysis in the future and he said it like nothing he said it like nothing was going on like it was my first time listening to these terms and everything and i was just completely shocked so that's why i go you know above and beyond with health and fitness like with what i eat i'm very very picky and healthy and yeah i'm just really like like honestly lately it has been so bad that i barely eat anything just because i'm super picky like one of the few things that i can eat right off the bat that i could eat is like my coconut milk and plant-based protein shake my um green juices and my and like grilled chicken and stuff like that that's like easy and pesto stuff like that like i like like hospital food yeah that's weird but <laughs> that's very weird so yeah what i do for a living i do youtube and i have my own websites like as you know i have my patreon account and i'm a social media influencer that's what i do for a living my age i'm currently 24 years old and i feel like you know time is just flying by now literally i wish i was younger sometimes anyways um sixth question eh, ¿por qué no haces video en español? <coughs> bueno esta, esta pregunta ¿por qué yo no hago video en español? bueno yo quiero um, quiero que el español me salga más flu like Quiero que me salga más profesional. So, yo uh, no quiero hablar que y... Ay, Dios. Ok, so... Um, la, eh, pregunta número C, since in Spanish. The sixth question. Um, ¿Por qué no haces video en español? That's, um, they asking why, they, um, why I don't do videos in, in Spanish. Bueno, yo no hago video, no he hecho video en español en este canal, pero sí tengo video en español en mi otro canal, pero sí quiero comenzar a hacer más video. Bueno, quiero comenzar a hacer video en español porque la mayoría de mis seguidores y de mi, um, de mis, de mi, de toda la gente que me apoya, sí viene de Colombia y, y Brasil y esos sitios de para allá. Entonces, y México. Lo agradezco tanto, Argentina, eh, lo agradezco tanto a todo, Venezuela, pero sí voy a hacer más, más video en español en el futuro. Eh, what is your favorite style of music? Um, ¿Cuál es mi favorito estilo de música? My favorite style of music gotta be, I would say rap, trap. I love you know, all that gangster stuff. Um, yeah, don't judge. But, si, sí, me gusta mucho el rap, el trap. Y me gusta mu muchísimo el reggaeton. Me encanta um, la salsa. Me encanta, me encanta la salsa. Me encanta el rock. Me encanta el um, R&B, whatever. Yeah, I, I actually like a lot of stuff, but my favorite, my favorite, my favorita is rap, trap, and salsa, and rock, like indie music and stuff like that. I love indie music, like literally. Okay, so the next question is, um, seven, um, what is your favorite, um, no, I already answered that. 
that was sorry guys i'm messing up the numbers i have so many questions okay number a where am i from de que país soy so john yo soy de la república yo nací y soy de la república dominicana eh, llegué, a, llegué a los estados unidos cuando tenía como eso de ocho años i came here to new york when i was about eight years old and i was born and raised in the dominican republic so um guys comment what a uh, what country do i look from like the next question is what qualities do you what qualities do you look for in an ideal man if i was to date like okay what qualities do i look for in an ideal man if i was to date him regardless of status and i'm assuming he said money or something i couldn't see the whole question it was a very long question but um the answer to that is qualities is genuine um somebody that's real is really re it's really hard to find real like what is even real anymore you know everybody's like full of it like seriously but he he's gonna be tall you know definitely tall like i love tall guys you know not too too skinny perhaps you know i love a guy you know um that's like into healthy eating you know you don't have to be in the gym but you gotta watch what you eat you know like i don't like a guy that's down to eating any restaurant anywhere any food anybody's hand i don't think so you need to have some hygiene good hygiene that's a like huge one for me huge one hygiene has to be like everything you know a you gotta have goals you gotta do something for yourself you gotta hustle like you cannot be not doing anything with your life you know like i anyways um what qualities what other qualities do i look for honest handsome um handsome can mean a lot of things honestly mm. that's a good question Well, anyways, I guess I gotta think about that. You know, I um I haven't been in my re many many relationships, so yeah. Um, the next question that's number ten is um somebody asked. Okay, so this is two questions. Somebody asked me if I like. Somebody asked, "Are you a virgin?" And the answer is no. I'm not a virgin. And the next question was, when did I lose my virginity? And <clears throat> I lost my virginity around the age of 15. I believe I was going on 16 or something. Around that age. So, yeah. It was, you know, I will say it wasn't the best experience. Like, I didn't even, like, it was just... A little bit traumatizing how it happened you know but anyways that's just you know the past i don't want to no comment i don't want to keep talking about that um what part of the bay am i from um i'm not from the bay i don't know why so many people think i am from california i'm currently living in the u um in new york I do, you know, I I do want to, I do want to go to LA very soon because um, it seems like it's amazing out there and there's so many amazing people and most of the biggest YouTubers are out there and it looks amazing and beautiful. Like, it looks like a, like the place to be, honestly. I love New York though. I don't think I would like leave New York. I would definitely like to like live here and go back and forth, back and forth. Honestly, I want to travel the whole wide world. It's like my dream. Like I love traveling. I feel like I'm living when I'm traveling, you know. 
But there's nothing like traveling with somebody that you love or somebody that, you know, that you connect with and stuff. Um, question, okay, question 12. Short or tall, guys? <laughs> you guys know this. Tall, guys. You guys know. Gotta be tall, guys. Okay, question 13. Will you be a brand ambassador for a mo for a mobile app? Okay, somebody asked me if I will be a brand ambassador for a, mo for a mobile app. And the question is yes, why not? I mean, <coughs> I don't know too much about mobile apps, but I will learn. Why not? I mean, you want to sponsor me? Let me know. Um, what's, what, what's my height and measurements? So, my height, I am 5'3", and my measurements are 36C, 27 waist, and like 44, 45 inch hips. So, you guys already know. Um, the next question is, how tall are you? How tall am I? Well, I already answered that, right? Oh, I'm just... I'm, I'm messing it up, guys. I just have so much written down. Um, somebody even asked me the weight. Like, really? Um, no comment on that. The other question, 16, what are the pros and cons about of having a huge butt? Okay, so the pros and cons about this. So guys, funny insider about me. When I was younger, I was obsessed with losing weight. I was obsessed with losing weight. Like I was so obsessed that I will do a lot of unhealthy stuff like i would literally like go to those health herbalist stores and getting pills to curb my appetite like this pills would get me like jittery i would go to school literally i was going to high school like on nothing not eating nothing taking these pills drinking one ton of water there was this one time the first time that i took the pills that i was in class and i was like Oh my god, why I feel like this? I was feeling jittery. I, was, I, I felt that like I was going to pass out. Like, God forbid, you know, thank God that I didn't pass out. <clears throat> but the point is that I needed water. I was real dehydrated. Um, I don't recommend that. Please don't do that. I was just taking like so many supplements, um, laxatives to go to the bathroom. Just because like my sister, they were like, skinnier and taller than me. And I also wanted to be, you know skinny and taller and i hated having you know curves and but and you know but now i embrace it honestly i um cons is like i guess um like a lot of things with fit nines um Oh Cons, I would say, is all the negativity and all the hate that I could get on a daily basis. Like, your butt is, you know, your bum is fake or, um, you know, people will, like, look at you certain ways, you know, harassment, getting harassed from guys. You know, getting my pictures taken everywhere, I, like places that I go, like shopping, anything from shopping to um, either like when I used to take the subway, you know, when I was going to school and I used to take the subway, I used to, you know, a lot of dangerous situation, the wrong attention, you know, people don't take you serious enough, people judge you, people think that... You know, automatically you work in a club, you in the club scene, you either a stripper, you you a bartender. No, um, just because you have a curves does not mean that you fall under all these categories. Like, 
you know you get sexualized like it's really it's disgusting honestly how people can treat you when you know you have a bum like it's really not that serious and there has been a lot of times that you know i don't even want to comment on it but that i have went on job interviews or try try to get a certain jobs or something and you know i totally cover my bum and everything but you can feel how people would treat you like you could like on my old job, you know, for example, I'm not going to mention where I used to work or anything, but my old job, I used to get called out a lot for the things that I would wear when other people could wear the same thing and I get called out for it. And I feel like that's very unfair, you know, very unfair because it was not like how, you know, you're going to show, you're going to show your body off or like doing some other inappropriate things. You know, you're literally going to work. You're just working. People being gained up on, you know, back in high school, all of that. There's a lot of cons about it. The next thing. Okay. Oh, I wanted to give a shout out to Curry1K on Instagram, from my Instagram. Go check out Curry1K. He said, um, I watch your YouTube every day. That might be weird coming from a guy, but I'm a supporter. And I actually love that comment. It actually made me smile so much and this is what motivates me to keep making more videos because you guys are awesome thank you curry 1k kiss for you let me know if you want to shout out my video i'm gonna start doing these to see who are my faithful faithful supporters and followers so um question 17 is um what's the what's the life expecting of an organic mushroom that's kept refrigerated and that is definitely four to seven days i believe if i'm not mistaken i think the most that a refrigerated mushroom could last is seven days weird question but somebody asked me a question so i answer um number 18 what's my regimen of working out and eating healthy well my regimen is i have i have established a, like a lifestyle already you know after i get diagnosed with having polycystic kidney disease which is um a genetic disease where your kidneys produce huge amount of cysts like literally where they start functioning over time and um actually the doctor did tell me um when they found it out and everything it was only working seven percent and unfortunately that it wasn't gonna keep coming down and stuff but but that, that i had to drink two liters of water in a day and that's why i actually keep um try to um continue you know work i work out try to eat healthy and, and try to minimize the amount of pills that i take and stuff um yeah and uh, eating healthy yeah i eat you guys see what i eat i love eating quinoa i love kidney beans i love i love eating really light stuff i actually like i said earlier in this video i love eating hospital food i love hospital lasagna like yeah i just love hospital food call me weird i actually go to this hospital in new york called new, uh, new york presbyterian and the food is the best when my sister gave birth, when she was pregnant, I was actually when um, I was taking care of her and stuff, and I was literally like, I'm like, are you gonna eat this? Because I actually took her food and I was eating it for her, <laughs> because that food is like a great a one for me. Because I don't know, I love like that food that tastes like nothing. Like I love like blend food. That's what you call it, blend food and stuff like that. And I love my green juices. That's one thing that I have to do every... And I try to work out at least three times a day. If I don't go to the gym, I try to do it at home. Um, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Um, Before, I was like a gym junkie. And um, a lot of has changed, you know, life. But a lot has changed. So um, lately, I have been going way, 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 way less to to the gym and whatnot but but I'm, I'm trying to get back you know it's a process it's honestly a process and i'm gonna get back i'm totally gonna get back 
because I definitely want to do workout videos for you guys and everything and I want to get my energy back like I was literally motivated and everything to do all of this and lately I've just been going to the gym and I just I do a couple of workouts and it's like okay I'm tired like I need to go or I'll pass out you know I literally fainted before just like you know in my house like I don't know where so I don't play around when it comes to that I just, if I feel like, and I be going to the gym on an empty stomach because I've been really bad about eating lately. I just haven't been eating of any, anything. I feel like food, each and every day is just becoming more and more fake. Like, fake in the matter that food is just not the same anymore. Animals are, be, are being injected with all kinds of hormones, all kinds of, you know, BS. I don't want to curse, but, um, yeah. That's another whole topic that if you guys want to talk more about that, you can leave me, let me know in the comments. You can do more research. Anything that I will tell you. So yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Love you guys. Bye.